Why SK depression isn't just about serotonin? Why YSK understanding that there's more to depression can help to battle it or even stay ahead of it. Experience as someone who's battled it on and off for 14 years and taken over 30 medications to help. I've learned there are multiple neurotransmitter systems involved. Norepinephrine and dopamine are also involved. For me serotonin wasn't the primary issue, the other two were. Understanding this and utilizing a search mechanism I'll list below can better help you understand what works well for you and what doesn't. When looking into medications and what they do, always use the term mechanism of action. For example, Google what is the mechanism of action for Zoloft. Then see what receptors it works on and adjust. You can do this for any medication. That being said the best antidepressant I've ever taken is cold water immersion in the morning. It boosts dopamine 200 for 1-5 hours after and it only takes up to 3 minutes of immersion in 55 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. It also boosts norepinephrine brain adrenaline. I thought this was horse shit but I've been doing it and holy shit am I 10 years younger. I'm motivated, I'm a better husband, dad, worker, hobby enjoyer life enjoyer. Other things I've found that worked, focus on healthy sleep habits, vit, omegas 2 grams a day for me, and getting sunlight ASAP in morning via a walk with my dog. Literally only walk a mile but sunlight boosts cortisol which gets you energized and moving. I have been doing so many things for so many years. I hope this helps someone. Well butrin is andri as well if SSRIs aren't helping. Everyone is different, that's why they tell you to wait for 6 weeks before you decide to switch your medication. I've been practicing positive self-talk for a few weeks now such as being kinder and more loving to myself and it's turned my life around. I also try to see the positive in everything around me. I was kind of a perfectionist and when things didn't go my way it sent me to a dark place and kept me there. Meds have kind of helped me tried over 10 different sris, sris, even shrooms but changing the way I think and talk to myself others have changed me for the better. Hope this helps someone else too. I like what you're putting out. I used to take meds. Didn't work. I drank it worse. Now I've been eating right, exercising, helping others when they need help, sleeping more, taking magnesium, and drinking lots of water. I feel like all I was doing was eating like shit and not sleeping were not good. While eating right, exercise, and other factors definitely help manage depression, some people need more help. There is nothing wrong with taking medicine. I struggled to find an anti-anxiety antidepressant that worked for me, until my psychiatrist tried something besides SSRIs. When I struggle with depression now, I don't end up in such a dark place. It's not inescapable. Whatever you find to manage your depression is great, so long as you aren't hurting anyone. But the superiority act a lot of people who can manage without medicine isn't helpful. But high cortisol is also the cause for stress and depression right? I think it's also important to realize medication can only do so much. A lot of people, I would say most, are depressed because they have shitty circumstances. If you take medication without changing your environment it probably won't do much for you. I'm not gonna take a fucking cold bath every morning. Jesus, that sounds like it would make me far more depressed. In Finland ice swimming is common hobby. You keep swimming in Lake Corsi all year around, when there is ice, a hole is cut there. Includes sauna. It is beneficial but not a magical solution. It is the same with any activity, taking walks is beneficial and good for mental health. But it cannot treat depression if it actually is severe. I'd rather be depressed than take a daily cold shower first thing after waking up. I've never found a medication that helped me enough to counteract the side effects. Best I've come up with is things I have control over. Which is accepting I have no control over anything only my reactions. Sunlight is vital for me. I struggle super hard through winter. Exercise, doing simple slow paced activities. Meditation. 
creating short and long-term goals to always have something to work towards. That being said I often fall off and become lost. Almost inevitable with the onset of winter. This was a very hard one for me. Greatly looking forward to spring. I've ever taken is cold water immersion in the morning it boosts dopamine 200 for 1-5 hours after. You know what else also boosts dopamine 200. How did you end up doing the immersion? I wouldn't want to have to get a bucket and ice every morning lol. I have a pool that's kinda cold, but not really cold enough. Spravato is changing the game. Thanks for sharing your experience, op your story testimonial is inspiring I will give it a try I'd heard of cold water immersion but hadn't heard of it specifically as an antidepressant. How have you come to know what neurotransmitters were involved in your depression? Explains why my ADHD diagnosis medication has helped my depression. ADHD meds work on those specific receptors if I remember correctly, allowing for a more proper release of dopamine and can help start a habit. Preferably the good ones. There is a good book out there called Lost Connections by Johan Harry that discusses medications, current treatments historical treatments, and societal factors that pally roles in depression and anxiety. It was very helpful for me and made it easier to verbalize to therapists and people around me what was going on with my depression. How do you accomplish the cold water immersion? And how did you psych yourself up to do it every day? A lot of medications fix the immediate issue. I found out through years of battling depression that I had testosterone induced depression, meaning I had a lack of testosterone, which doesn't allow your body to work properly causing depressing and many other issues. I'd also add that if you're still depressed after trying a few antidepressants, ask your doctor about GeneSight. It's a cheek swab that analyzes how specific medications work with your DNA or at least that's how I understand it. How long do you have to immerse yourself in cold water? Are you talking about taking a one minute cold shower? Or what? Serotonin is overrated. It's dopamine you need. Cold water immersion how? Taking cold shower you mean? Yeah no shit. That said, SSRIs are fairly efficacious and are arguable the second or third most important drugs in the field of psychiatry period. This kinda sounds like anecdotal garbage I'm glad it's working out for you. But this kind of misrepresented or untested regimen can really fuck someone up if they do it without proper medical guidance. It can also embolden people that believe mental health is just about taking a jog. Just stuff to keep in mind, for you and anybody getting their hopes up.